this is Delia again, and I'm reading The Vampire Diaries, The Struggle. I am on chapter 11, part 7, I think. Let's see. I think it's 7, part 7. Um, let's say I know for a moment Damon's proposition swam in Elena's mind, but she shook her head to clear and I'll think of something, she said. She hadn't thought of anything though the next day of school. The one encouraging fact was that Caroline didn't seem to have noticed anything amiss in her room, but that was all Elena could find to be encouraged about. There was an assembly that morning at which it was announced that the school board had chosen Elena as the student to represent the spirit of Fells Church. All through the principal's speech about it, Caroline's smile had blazed forth triumphant and malicious. Elena tried to ignore it. She did her best to ignore the slights and snubs that came even in the wake of the assembly. But it wasn't easy. It was never easy. And there were days when she thought she would hit someone or just start screaming. But so far, she'd managed that afternoon, waiting for the six-period history class to be let out, Elena studied Tyler Smallwood. Since coming back to school, she had not addressed one word to her. He had not addressed one word to her directly. He'd smile as nastily as Caroline during the principal's announcement. Now, as he caught sight of Elena standing alone, he jostled Dick Carter with his elbow. "What's that there?" he said. "A wallflower." Stephen, where are you? thought Elena, but she knew the answer to that. Halfway across school, an astronomy class. Dick opened his mouth to say something, but then his expression changed. He was looking beyond Elena, down the hall. Elena turned and saw Vicky. Vicky and Dick had been together before the homecoming dance. Elena supposed they were, st- they still were, but Dick looked uncertain, as if he were, wasn't sure what to expect from the girl who was moving toward him. There was something odd about Vicky's face, about her walk. She was moving as if her feet didn't touch the floor. Her eyes were dilated and dreamy. Hi there, Dick, said tentatively, and he stepped in front of her. Vicky passed him without a glance and went on to Tyler. Elena watched what happened next with growing uneasiness. It should have been funny, but it wasn't. It started with Tyler looking somewhat taken aback. Then Vicky put a hand on his chest. Tyler smiled, but there was a forced look about it. Vicky slid her hand under his jacket. Tyler's smile wavered. Vicky put her other hand on his chest. Tyler looked at Dick. Hey, Vicky, lighten up, said Dick hastily, but he didn't move any closer. Vicky slid her two hands upwards, pushing Tyler's jacket off his shoulders. He tried to shrug it back on without letting go of his books or seeming too concerned. He couldn't. Vicky's fingers crept under his shirt. Stop that. Stop her, will you? said Tyler to Dick. He had backed up to the wall. Hey, Vicky, let go. Don't do that. But Dick remained at a safe distance. Tyler shot in an enraged glare and tried to shove Vicky away. A noise had begun. At first, it seemed to be at a frequency almost too low for human hearing, but it grew louder and louder. A growl, eerily menacing, that sent ice down Elena's spine. Tyler was looking pop-eyed with disbelief, and she soon realized why. The sound was coming from Vicky. Then everything happened at once. Tyler was on the ground with Vicky's teeth snapping inches from his throat. So I'll stop there.